What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back here once again with Soundhead Entertainment, returning to the wonderful world of Wreckfest, where we have all the legends lined up at the multiplex from the Nitro Stunt Racing Mod Pack. And among them is a new car I think some of you just may enjoy. Feast your eyes on the newest edition. Once again, thanks to Drive Through Fresh from Victory Lane in Nashville. We have Chase Elliott's Napa Chevy as our chariot of the day. Hopefully, with this, we can get some of that sweet MPD bias on our way to a win. And off we go on our multiplex oval debut should be fairly interesting we're probably gonna have to come back and see what all this floating crap is all about that should be interesting but i want to try the oval out first because it's like if nashville and gateway got together somehow and we're getting together with eric Almarola already starting this thing off right i guess it's only fitting that we put the 45 behind us though we'll start things off here the way they finished them in nashville and they're gonna finish themselves off right here right now one lap in and there's a big one behind us Already a bunch of guys and there goes Kyle Busch getting chick hickst and taking me with him. And it's McDowell in that car too. He has been a menace and a half lately when we've been trying to race out here. We can't get away from the Mac man. I'm trying to think of when my uploads came out. I know it's been a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that's two videos in a row now that McDowell's been on my ass. And that could end any time. Haley, why would we do? Oh my God, Ross, I'm sorry. <laughs> Diving out of the way to try to miss one car and you plow through two, make it three. And the Bowman cars race is going about as good as Nashville. Let's see if we can catch a glimpse from this catch fence cam. Can't take the legends anywhere, man. Barely completing one lap and it's just horrific accidents all the way down the front stretch. Ross Chastain back there just got his head squished against the wall. I didn't even see that the first time. That's why we hit the replays. All kinds of chaos. Imagine if you lived in one of these buildings right here so you could look down and see Kyle Larson drive clean across the track and try to kill me. All while in Joey Logano's car for some reason. That's neat. This is just going to become a silly season simulator once we get enough new cars and Harrison's going to bully me and so is Bubba. We just get run down by him in a Ross car, which is actually the, the believable part of the scenario right there. Oh, and a big old hit on the outside there. 15 just cleared the way for the 11. Cedric, what are you doing? You shouldn't be helping out Hamlin mobiles out here. That's not what we do. That is not our M. Oh, Bubba, where are you going? Bubba's gone. I don't even know what just happened, but he's dead. And there it is. It's Landon Castle's world. We're just living in it. You guys are going wide as hell. Can we get there? No, we got to scrape that wall and kill my momentum first so I can secure that seventh place victory just as I'd planned. Damn it, look at that Truex car. That Hamlin FedEx mobile refuses to line up on certain cars. And I don't know which ones until it's too late, apparently. And it's too late for Eric Almarola because I've bodied him already in the first corner. That's tragic, but you know what? It's fitting because here comes my karma served up to me on a silver platter bright and early like how I'm served up to the field right there. I just got deleted. Well, it was nice knowing you folks, but I don't see any possible logical way that I could have survived that. So I'm dead now. I'm a ghost. I have angel wings and a harp in lieu of flowers. You can send die cast and money to my house or something. I don't know. I'm not even dead. Everybody give me some space here. Gordon, you got to get gone or Blaney, wherever you want to be. You got to move for me. Make way like Almarola just did. Poor Eric, man. I'm just bullying him this episode. He's like my own personal break machine. And I'm going to beat up on Martin Truex too. At least the Hamlin mobile is a little bit more deserving of a candidate for a slide job here. Maybe we'll try it. Maybe we won't quite get there. Maybe he'll get himself to me and get bopped. Bye-bye goals. Both of our chances of winning. Thank you very much. It'd be a real shame if you fell out of the race right there, right now, or got cleaned up by someone else behind us. I'd really hate that. Who in the hell are you? Haley, you're hanging out in a real tough spot back there, dude. Sideways, hanging off the wall, and I'm hanging it out wide, so he's like inches from death. Uh, Joey and Kyle Larson, they just swap cars today. Is that what I'm seeing right now? They just traded and then they're going to trade blows with me now. Here we go. I am somehow still going. This is a miracle. Ross, you better get the melons ready. We got some smash. We almost got smashed by Hicks. Hey, yo, pause. We got to get the breathalyzer out for Ross. He's everywhere and we're about to pass another Ross car and we took the L. Oh, yes. Cause ruckus, please. Let me get there. No, that was so close to being dramatic. That could have been violent. Try the outs. Oh boy, yep. Here comes AJ from downtown. The dinger from deep. And what did it do for him? Nothing. I need some of that non existent side draft. And that's about as much as we're going to get. And Larson's going for the spin cycle. Bubba, you going to join him? Yes, he will. See you later, pal. Let's do a half ass diamond exit of the corner here. This may work out. We got him wrecking on the ice side. Keep it on the ice side. And they didn't, those cowards. 
came down just enough to collect me. Thank you, you bunch of freaking bums. This might be a little too high. This is like the high side in Nashville. Oh, okay. All right, I guess Blaney's like, no, try it out some more. You'll like it. All right, well, I guess I don't have much of an option. Getting beaten down. Oh, where am I gonna go? Oh, right through the middle of it like a champ. And how about to the outside of Landon Castle there? Is that for a spot? Indeed it is. That's for the top five, ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy, oh. <laughs> We're just driving around everybody right now. There's action. Ah, no, I spoke too soon. Why do I, oh, wait a minute. We might be okay. Come on, so close yet so far. Somebody step out and wreck him. Nobody did it. Nobody had the stones. If it was me, everybody would come out of the woodwork. Pathetic. Here we go. Unfortunately, while I do enjoy this track very much, there's no replay cameras. You gotta do it all yourself, which I'm, we've done before. That's no problem, but it's a bit inconvenient as the one inconveniences everyone around him by making them carry him into the corner where they ultimately lead to destruction. Speaking of which, we get a taste of that ourselves here, but just a tiny little taste. And then we can keep on trucking away from the widespread turmoil behind us. I think Gordon's got the same idea as I do. Just back the corner way up and then use it to just ass pack Hamlin right out of the way and into the wall and into a big one. It would appear that just up ahead, Ross might be putting his gateway tactics back to the test. So uh, we'll see how that works out for him. Didn't look like it was going good. Might get another emo interview out of him now. And there goes Alex Bowman getting blasted. And I do two under the wall, but we're still going. I'm going to say it like Tony Soprano. Christopher, how about you get out of the way? I like, I like, I really need to finish seventh again, but I will take it if I need to. I didn't want to take it to this level, but we got to do what we got to do. And Landon's going for a ride up and over. And he's not the only one. Bubba as well. And another Ross sighting. This is getting ridiculous. This is the kind of slide job your mama warned you about right here. We just took Christopher Bell right out of the picture. And then Landon Castle up and over. Hey, I've been there, buddy. Earlier today, these things happen. This game is playing with my heart, making me watch as I'm going to finish just a hair shy of the podium unless they all wreck right here on the vital front stretch, which it would appear they're going to, but just not enough. No. Ah, that could have been amazing right there. It was a near miracle. They almost threw it away. They came so close. We almost had a double Ross takedown, both driver and car, but alas, it was not to be. Feels like I keep getting closer every time I destroy the 11 cars. So maybe that should just be my plan right here for the turn one memes just to get that ass of the 11. Oh my God, did I ever. And bye bye into the fence, into the field. I'm into the wall, gawking at it. I just killed him, man. I gotta go to jail now. We cut the field in half, and then we're barely hanging on to the top part of it. And then we're gonna barely hang on to this, I'm sure. Somebody hang on to something. How are we alive right now? How do we get through that? If I finish seventh again, I'm gonna throw up. Cindric, what? That move's gonna make me throw up right there. He just took Haley right out of it. And there goes my seventh. This front stretch is such a war zone. If there's one wreck on the front here, it just doesn't ever clear up. They just keep piling into it, making it worse. And we're gaining on the leader like crazy. Where's Land? Uh, where's that Jones boy at? We're looking for. Oh, I'm looking at the scoreboard. I'm not looking at the road like an idiot. Oh, Cole, I am very sorry, buddy. But this little scrum right here is for the lead. And there we go by Priest with a piece of trickle stuck in my face. What a scene. Well, unless this track has any last surprises for me, I think we're good. I shouldn't even be tempting fate like this. Let's just get to the line and let's get that dub in the books. That was like a hot potato style when we had no business doing that. That whole race had moments of hilarity, but it all boils down to this absolute scrum of bums. It's a four way fight for who can be the least stupid. And it was us for once. And that is gonna be where we call it a day, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna head out of here. I'm gonna go play the new F1 game that's just dropping. I'm gonna go watch Nelson Pique get dunked on on Twitter for being stupid. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you. Peace.